Good morning, everyone. Today is a truly exciting day in Kansas City. We care about the dignity of each person, creating opportunities for each person in our city. Today, we celebrate the beginning of our Fountain Card program. And a few things that I want to make sure I note for all of us. That the Kansas City Health Department is now making the Fountain Card available to all Kansas Cityans, free of charge and available for all ages. This is going to be a game changer for Kansas Cityans, and I'm excited we're here today to take that important step. We know there are many Kansas Cityans out there who are working to make their lives better, but it's quite difficult to do anything without a form of identification. Without a form of identification, it's difficult to get a job, you can't open a bank account, or fully interact with city services. The Fountain Card unlocks those opportunities today. And more than 100 people have already received their Fountain Cards since January 3rd, which is truly exciting. And I'm excited, I know the Mayor Pro Tem's excited to get our Fountain Cards today. A few of the technical details. To complete, to, pardon me, to obtain a Fountain Card, you need to complete an application here at the Health Department. You need a proof of identification, but that can be in a number of different ways. In so many words, very different than going to get your state driver's license. The things that you can bring in include a state driver's license, a military ID, a passport, a work identification card, a school yearbook, a W-2 form issued in the last year, a signed social security card, a utility bill, shelter name band for those who are unhoused, an insurance policy, and a good deal more. To learn all that's on that list, you can go to kcmo.gov. Our goal here is to make sure that you have an opportunity to get identification, that you have an opportunity to frankly get all of the benefits of living in Kansas City, in this great state, and in our country. And in addition to making sure you have those proofs of identification, you have to prove that you are living in Kansas City. But that isn't the hardest, right? We make sure you either have a credit card bill or statement, an insurance bill, a payroll stub, a utility bill, bank statement, a jury summons or court order, a proof of, or a, of a minor that's enrolled in a public or private school in Kansas City. And once you have all of that, you can come down here to the Health Department at 2400 Troost and apply. A few things that I want to note, then I'll get out of the way for the Mayor Pro Tem. Identification and opportunity and access matter a lot. And they matter a lot to a lot of people. There are some who have said, is this just for those who are unhoused? The answer is no, but we are proud that it helps those who are unhoused. Is it just for those who may have a status that is not a permanent residency or citizenship? It is not. It's not just for them, but it's something that's an access and an opportunity for them. But it's also something that's open and available for all of us. I remember when I was 16 years old, I convinced my mother, of all people, to actually vote for the first time. And she said, you know, why would I vote? Why does it matter? The citizenship doesn't matter. I'm just trying to survive. Well, there are a lot of people in our city each and every day who are just trying to survive. And our goal in Kansas City government is to make that life just a little bit easier. This program does just that. It will build opportunities for Kansas Cityans. It will make life just that bit easier. And will help people build successful lives here in Kansas City. To everyone, my colleagues on City Council, the Health Department, and so many more, thank you for doing this. I look forward to having my fountain card so I can better access our city services, getting them for my family, and more than anything, building the most outstanding city identification program in our country. This is something that I talked about when I was running for mayor back in 2018 and 2019. I'm so glad to see it today. Thank you all so much, and somebody who was key in making this happen, the Mayor Pro Tem of Kansas City, Councilwoman Rainer Park Shaw. Thank you. Good morning. I am really excited about uh, the fountain card and excited to get my fountain card because, you know, unfortunately in Kansas City, I think it is um, really unfortunate that a city of our size, over a half a million individuals, has one place to go to get a state ID. So unfortunately with that, there are long lines and of course an individual, if an individual is working eight to five, Actually, they have no opportunity to get a, an ID if they're without taking off from work. And so I am hopeful that having a, this opportunity here at the health department uh, that is on the bus line, that is easily accessible, will make it easier and relieve the stress there at the one location that they have to get an, a state ID, that they will be able to come here to get a fountain ID and have access to maybe some of the things that they weren't able to have access to before. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Jones and her staff, thank our city manager, thank the mayor. Uh, we worked on this for quite some time, I think about a year or two, to, to bring this to fruition. And so I'm really excited to work with a, a mayor and a council that prioritizes access 
for all of our residents. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to get my fountain card. I hope you all can't wait to. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. City Manager Brian Platt. This is an exciting moment for us. Uh, uh, I'm really thankful for our health department, who every day delivers highest, the highest quality services that you could find anywhere in this country, I'll argue. Uh, we are constantly finding new ways to adapt and respond to and evolve with the growing needs and changing needs uh, of our residents and the people that are in Kansas City every single day. So thankful for the work that the health department does every day, especially Director Jones, uh, Nasser behind me, uh, who's a big part of uh, putting this whole program together, and everyone that's going to be working here, providing services with a smile uh, to so many people here. So thank you so much to the team. All right, we are also excited as health department staff. Uh, I am really thrilled that we're able to bring this service to Kansas City residents. I also want to thank Nasser Johari, who has done so much with his staff to bring this to fruition. Um, this is essential. It meets a pressing need, as has already been shared with you, particularly for individuals who have a hard time getting together all those standard documents that you, true, you usually have to present. Um, we think about populations like the houseless, the formerly incarcerated people who have been involved with the foster care system. All of these are folks who we think will especially benefit. And then everyone who is just excited about showing their city pride and being a part of this fountain car community. Um, these will help folks, these fountain cars will help people access services that they're, they're eligible to receive. Um, in Kansas City. It would also, if you think about it, it's very easy for people to go over, get their birth certificate, um, and then walk right over and have that information already on hand. It stops people from having to do that run around or walk around town. So we're really excited about that. We're also grateful to our partners. So I'm going to thank my uh, city department directors, my colleagues who have been very collaborative in making sure that other city services such as water and parks admission and all these different things um, that typically require some form of ID will accept the fountain car. So special shout out to Public Works and Water uh, as well as Parks and Rec. And we are actively working to expand this list of partnerships. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to We Development, the credit union that has agreed to be a partner uh, in this and to be able to allow people to use their fountain card to open up uh, checking accounts. Now, this is really important because access to economic uh, opportunity, access to just activities of daily life, those are all things that contribute to health. And so as a health department, we're really proud to be a part of this. I also can't wait to get my card. Thank you all for being here.